Hi guys, welcome to your library at home. Uh, we've got about a minute before we get started, so I'm gonna explain to you what we're doing tonight. We are doing summer charcuterie boards. Um, the idea was to be out in my backyard having a picnic, but it's raining here in my neighborhood, so we're inside in my kitchen. Um, either way, we are going to be doing summer charcuterie boards. So if you're joining me, let me know. Hi Maureen, thanks for watching. Welcome to your library at home. Tonight we are doing summer charcuterie boards. Um, so my idea was to take charcuterie boards on a picnic with you. So what I've done is I have packed up for us tonight charcuterie boards. Um, I have all the goodies in this one for an adult charcuterie board and I have all the goodies in this one for two kids charcuterie boards. So if you feel like going on a picnic, hi Emma, thanks for watching. Um, if you wanna go on a picnic, hi Paul, thanks for watching. Um, three, hi Denise, three easy picnic baskets. I also have, um, if you can tell, I really like these market bags. This basket right here has got my boards and um, a kid's charcuterie board. So we are gonna start with, um, let's start with the kid's board. So what we have in our basket for the kids, um, I'm gonna use the long board and um, let's see if I can get this so that you guys can actually see me. So I have three wooden boards that are easily transportable. I'm gonna turn you guys down and I'm gonna show you what I have in my board. Okay, there we go. So this is gonna be for the kids. So I have, um, all packed up, ready to go for our picnic. Some apples, some rolled up ham. I've got uh, some trail mix. Hi, Natalie. We've got some chopped up watermelon. Cherries. Oranges. Grapes. Cheese sticks. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. goldfish because everybody loves goldfish and of course we have to have some chocolate so here's where the fun begins so the idea tonight is to um, pack up stuff that's easily transportable so we've got oops that was loud sorry got some goldfish so we're gonna start by making two little trays for our board and we're gonna work out from that so I'm gonna do some goldfish and I'm going to do some trail mix. And then down in the center. Okay, so these are really fun. These are little, um, little frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All ready to go. And I'm just gonna roll them up like this. Maybe we'll go this way. Okay, I'm gonna move that out a little bit. On this one, I'm going to do some cheese. I did cheese sticks. Um, <laughs> I'll try to be a little bit more quiet. Sorry, Paul. Okay, so we've got cheese sticks on this end. Um, cheddar cheese, and we'll talk about this too when we get to the adult one. Cheddar cheese is a cheese that sweats. So I'm gonna leave these guys wrapped up so that when it is time to eat it, kids can just grab some ham and some cheese and roll up a little ham and cheese um, crustless sandwiches like our peanut butter and jelly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my grapes, which I've cut up in little sizes for little fingers. I'm gonna put my grapes on one side so they make the sandwiches look better. Go ahead and put some cherries on the other side. I've got salami. We're going to get to that on the next board, but thank you. But when we have a picnic together, I'll put you on salami duty. How's that? Hi, Tom. Okay, so now we're going to do some oranges. There's oranges on two sides because oranges are really good this time of year and super yummy. Okay. And some apples. I'm gonna make this a 
whole roll of fruit over here. All right. And some watermelon. Which I sliced up in little kid size pieces. We're gonna stack our watermelon on this side. So the idea is to try to make it look colorful and yummy. All right, so. And then, anybody who knows me knows you have to have some chocolate. So I've got some little mini Kit Kat bars. And here you have our first I'm hungry too. Okay, so here you go. That took me about five minutes. It took me about 10 minutes to prep everything, about five minutes to set up. Um, I know this would be a really great idea if literally um, early on in pandemic actually would have been great because my kids had snack fest all day long. So literally I kept saying I'm gonna make one big board, leave it out and let them just keep camping. Do you like my tablecloth? Thank you. All right, so here's our kids board. After the kids eat their lunch, we're just gonna get to the good stuff right next. We are going to go ahead and do a um, s'mores board. All right, this one's, more, this one's even more fun, I think. Let me just clear my table, take away all our kids' goodies, and we are going to make a s'mores charcuterie board. And this is even good if you do not have a campfire. So what I have is peanut butter. All ready to go. One thing I did forget to pack for my picnic, you guys shouldn't forget, are utensils. But I've got some peanut butter. And I've got some Nutella. Do you want to come over and help? That'd be all right with me. Okay, so we've got Nutella and peanut butter. And of course, you have to have marshmallows. I'm going to put the marshmallows in the center, actually. Go ahead and make a giant, huge pile. Oops. Ooh, yummy. Marshmallows and peanut butter. That might be one way to get them to stay without rolling. Okay, next. So if you're doing a s'mores board and you do not have a campfire, load it up with some Yummy cookies. Anything with chocolate. I couldn't put my peanut butter cookies on here, guys. Sorry, because they melted. So I've got two different kinds of cookies. This is a chocolate, it's actually a chocolate peanut butter graham cracker cookie. So we are going to go ahead and load that side up with more cookies. I'm gonna go ahead and put our Nutella back on. Now I've got honey cinnamon, and chocolate um, graham crackers. We're gonna go ahead and put our graham crackers in a little pile. I like these kinds because they're already cracked in half. They are, hi Melissa, they are s'mores ready graham crackers. So we'll go ahead and put those right there, trying to balance my color. We need some Hershey bars. So we are just going to stack these guys up. I have to squish these in. So this is kind of fun too. Look at this. This is my Lazy Susan um, charcuterie board. So I'm going to put those in there. We need our chocolate graham crackers. Hopefully these... Um, huh. You want to make some phone calls? If we if we weren't having to super social distance, we could have a really yummy porch party. Okay, so chocolate ones don't come cracked in half, but they are delicious. So we're gonna put some chocolate graham crackers on there, and then of course my favorite Reese's. Thins. You don't have to use thins, but that is my candy of choice right now, which I thought would be really yummy in a s'more melted with the marshmallow. All right, and here you have it. Make sure all our labels are up. This is our s'mores. Um, 
It would not be wrong. You could add Butterfingers if you want. Here's our s'more charcuterie board. So, yay for the kids, but I don't know. I think adults would enjoy this as well. All right, so for the third charcuterie board. And you guys see how easily that all packed up, right? So for our third one, we are going to make one for us now. So once again, I have another Lazy Susan charcuterie board. And I've got all my goodies packed in my little cooler bag here. And we have crackers. All right, Gina got the salami. We've got grapes. We've got our little bowls. I've got some blueberries. Sliced apples, super, super thin. Raspberries. Peaches. Oranges. Some little sausage snack bites. We've got some mixed nuts, and we have some brie, which I'm gonna leave just like that. I've opened it up, and we have some blue cheese. And I chose those two because they, um, neither one of those will sweat in the heat. So if you're literally going to have a picnic, you don't wanna use cheese because it'll get all sweaty and not so pretty on your board. Um, for fun, I've got some teriyaki pineapple beef jerky and some strawberries. Um, we're going to put our cheeses on the opposite end. I'll go ahead and add some crackers. You really don't want, I chose just because I don't want the crackers to take away from the flavors of the, I have been busy chopping and slicing. Um, you don't want the crackers to take away from the taste of your cheeses and fruit. So these are just kind of a plain whole wheat cracker. We are going to put our grapes right in the center. Now the kids' grape grapes I cut up in little bite-sized pieces, but I didn't so much with the adult ones because I figured we can we can handle taking our grapes. Right, we're gonna be a big pile of grapes right in the center. All right, loose ones we're gonna move away for the minute. Right, and we're going to go ahead and add some apple. I didn't soak my apple in lemon, but you can if you put them in lemon juice or some 7-Up. They will not start to brown. So just a little tip I forgot to do. Okay, so we've got a little mound of apple slices that you could put very easily. They're super thin, so you can put them on your cracker with your cheese. A little more right over here. And I'm gonna give it a pop of orange over here. I slice the oranges the same way, which is really good because if there's they have seeds in them, the seeds will come out. All right, so there's our oranges. Hmm. Do you like cheese, Robert? All right, and then peaches. And we're going to add some peaches right here. Next to our brie. Um, okay, now salami. Once again, I've rolled up our salami so they're nice bite sized pieces, or I mean, easy to grab. These are the bite sized pieces one. Let's see, we're, we're going to put some sausage sticks right there, I'm trying to balance my color. There you go. And I'm going to grab us some mixed nuts. Everybody likes to snack on mixed nuts when they're on a picnic. <laughs> Paul, you are so funny. Okay. And raspberries. We will put on the other side of our oranges. Raspberries are also a really good fruit to use because those do not sweat as well. So they won't get all soggy. All right. Got some... Pineapple beef jerky. I'm just about done with this, guys, and then it is 
snack time. All right, here's our beef jerky. Last bit, gotta have some strawberries. You can throw all this back in the cooler bag. So if you need to replenish, I'm just gonna throw strawberries because the best thing about a charcuterie board is having it nice and full. All right, I did, I don't have room on my board, but um, my two kind of favorite cheeses, which I thought would be really nice because they're good when they soften up, is some goat cheese. I've got a honey and a cranberry cinnamon, which I could, probably could have snuck in right over there. But instead, I am just going to go ahead and now garnish with some blueberries. You just wanna throw these very loosely all over. And here you have it. One for adults, one for kids, and I don't see why the adults, looks like a great snack for the pool, or the front porch. All right, and here you have it. Your adult summer charcuterie board. So, guess what? It is time to snack. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you'll consider going on a picnic and taking a charcuterie board with you. Like I said, these are just Lazy Susan boards. Um, easy to transport. This all fit in three bags and we are good to go. Off to our picnic. If it wasn't rainy anyways. Um, thanks for watching tonight. I hope you guys make charcuterie boards. If you do, send in some photos. And next week, we are going to be doing an art project. Um, there are nuts on the board. We've got everything on here. Um, and next week, we're going to make alcohol ink coasters. So if you have any old ceramic coasters laying around and you don't have alcohol ink, you can grab some Sharpies and alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol, not drinking alcohol. Anyways, thanks, guys. All right, I've got the boards ready. Have a good night. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.